Hello everyone! Let's watch a short story about a cute little girl named Mary which was diagnosed with a colon cancer. Today, Mary went to a radiotherapy center with her grandmother to treat her cancer for the first time. Hi, I'm Mary and I was only 6 years old. Today, I'm here at radiotherapy center with my lovely grandma. Not to forget, I had a cancer in my body. I'm sick, but I'm fine. I'm really excited to be here and kill the bad cells in my body. Oh, the room looks so scary. The big machine is called CT scan machine to take the image inside of my body. This bed is so cold and they poke me to make a small tattoo and they constantly telling me on what's going to happen. There are lots of clever oncologists and physicists look at the tumor image and start to make a super special plan to kill the cell. Wow! Look at the bad cells! I lie down here to get my very first treatment. Phew! I feel a little bit nervous. Done with my first treatment. Yay! Let's go, Grandma. I will come again later. Bye-bye! Yay! Swings! I feel so happy today for getting treated. Can't wait for the next! After a few hours, this is the tumor cells inside the body. Oh no! What actually happened to the cells? This is how tumor responds towards radiation. 5R Repair, Redistribution, Reoxygenation, Repopulation, Radio Sensitivity Repopulation is actually happened in the previous video. Let's discuss more on repopulation. Repopulation is described the proliferation of surviving clonogenic tumor cells during the fractionated radiotherapy. For example, in this video, the tumor cells is killed with radiation. Some of the tumor will die and the clonogenic cells will survive. The clonogenic cells that survive from the radiation can repopulate the tumor by proliferation and this can reduce cell loss. This process may be short because tumor cells only take a shorter time to repopulate more. Repopulation of tumor cells usually occur during fractionated radiotherapy and it reduces the efficacy of the treatment. At which phase does the cell repopulate? The cell repopulate at most radiosensitive phase, which is M and G2 phase. When the normal cells divide, it goes to a series of steps. The end result of cell division is the formation of two identical daughter cells. The cells goes to many distinct steps of divides, which are G0 phase, G1 phase, S phase, and G2 phase. Let's begin to explore how the process happened at M and G2 phase only. After G1 phase, the cells create two copies of its DNA in preparation of S phase called G2. The cells continue to grow and make a more protein for final stage. The cells finally split into two cells and the two copies of DNA are distributed equally into two daughter cells. This is called the M or mitosis phase. Different in cell division between normal and tumor cells. Usually, for a normal tissue cells, a complete cycle of cell division is in approximately 24 hours. S phase always takes place in 6 till 
8 hours, 4M phase is only less than 1 hour. G2 usually takes 2 to 4 hours and G1 takes approximately 1 to 8 hours. Tumor cells grow faster than normal cells. The clonogenic cells able to proliferate indefinitely and form a large colony from a single cell. The cells itself can produce proteins, synthesize new DNA and even go through one or two cell divisions. Accelerations of repopulation was preceded by a decrease in tumor hypoxia after two weeks of fractionated irradiating, suggesting that improved tumor oxygenation might trigger repopulation in tumors either by facilitating more proliferation and or by reducing cell loss. Mechanism of repopulation The mechanism can be described by the following three Asymmetry loss Acceleration of stem proliferation And abortive divisions First, let's take a look on asymmetry loss This is the video of asymmetry loss process Radiation tolerance must decrease during fractionated irradiation according to the stem cell kill. After repopulation has started, the effect part of the radiation dose counteracted. This indicates that new stem cells must be produced to replace those sterilized by the irradiation. In normal tissue, stem cell divides on average into one new stem cell and one differentiating cell. This is called asymmetric divisions. For symmetric divisions, stem cell divided into two stem cells daughter. Let's move to the second. Acceleration of stem cell proliferation. Cell cycle time must be even shorter if the asymmetry loss is incomplete. The degree to which the stem cell proliferation is accelerated is highly dependent on the radiation dose administered. During treatment with low dose, repopulation was exactly adjusted to compensate this lower dose. Despite the clearly higher regenerative capacity, after the lag phase of repopulation, stem cells constitute only a minor fraction of the general population. Finally, the abortive division. Sterilized cell can undergo a limited number of divisions even after high doses of radiation. This limited proliferative activity results in cells that undergo near normal differentiation and hence counteract the ongoing cell loss. Fractionation Fractionation is divided into two which is hyperfractionation and hypofractionation. Hyperfractionation has low dose per fraction and requires more fractionated treatment so cell repopulation increase. Hypofractionation use high dose per fraction and need less fractionated treatment. Thus, cell repopulation decrease. The graph indicates that repopulation process is faster than the other. Low dose rate can make the repopulation to occur faster. This is the last day of my treatment. I just stay still for a minute and all the cells will die.